<sighs> okay. This is the first time I've, I've narrated a speed draw, so let's just hope this works out. Okay. Three, two, one. Alrighty. Um, welcome to, I guess, the a redraw of something that I worked on in Clip Studio. It's not... It's not all of that much, but it was like, God, it was so, it, Clip Studio is so fun to draw, and I swear. But I don't have a license yet, so I can't, like, save or copy any of the layers, so I had to, <laughs> I basically had to screenshot all three of them, and then halfway through during that, I thought, what, why not just, like, redraw it? Because I have lots of time on my hands. Uh, it's, Currently Wednesday, 3 a.m., and I'm editing this as we speak. So, <laughs> oh, it, it, considering it's a Wednesday, like we don't have, uh, we're, we bas we basically have a day off, so I have plenty of time to do this. But anyways, I'm gonna be just for the bits where I don't want to talk for basically an hour, which is basically how much footage footage I have. I'm just gonna like just scrub through it at like uh 300x speed or probably higher than that so i'll just have a couple talking points in here oh, and i'd also like to add that i'm probably going to be uh panning and zooming like excessively especially at high speeds so this is more of a warning for anybody who's sensitive to like uh i don't want to say flashing lights but just like motion sickness and stuff like that. So if you are just like be wary that it'll it'll probably pop up randomly. So anyways. Okay, now that I've got the lining done, I started working on the clipping layers. So just for the collar, the base fur, and then for the hair. So you'll see that in a couple seconds.
now that I now that the clipping layers are all finished, this is when I started to like experiment with like the uh most of the hair texture because again I was I'm still bored. I was bored then and I was just kind of messing around and experimenting with like uh I guess uh mostly like the secondary color for the hair. So I was messing with like the the way that it would like I guess look and feel. I'm pretty sure most of you don't know this, and I haven't really told many people about this, but recently I dyed my hair, so as soon as that thought came into mind, I uh, I made sure to change the hair color to just match accordingly with that, because with my son specifically, I make sure that like every, like I guess, bodily change, quote-unquote, uh, I make sure to to like change on the base or any art that I make of them of him so Honestly, when it starts to get to the fur patterns, at least, again, for my Sona, like, it's it's so difficult to get it from a certain angle, because the base that I redid, like, I, probably around last year, is not really to scale with this, and I sort of, I mean, I spent a lot of time getting the, the texture to look decent, but it's not all that accurate and usable from like different angles, especially from like something abstract like this. So it was, I was doing my best to like uh, to copy what I had on the draft, and it was it's <laughs> it's very grueling to get it right because Metabang is very like limited on like the kind of brushes you can get and make. Uh, so I had to sort of work with what I had. And I, I, I attempted to use the cloud brush, which is usually what I use for the, uh, for that, the brown or the, I guess the secondary fur pattern, but it didn't work in this case because it's, the style didn't match with the brush. So yeah, <laughs> this is, it, this is the, the rougher part, but once we get past this, it, it gets a lot smoother down the road.
All right, at this point, I was basically done with most of the body, except the final, the final bit that I had to do was the collar. And uh, I had spent a good time just sort of, like, messing around, and <laughs> I felt like I was on a time crunch. So I had to just, like, sort of speed through some sort of pattern, like a, a basic, just like, uh, a basic, just... Like a, I guess a, a plaid pattern, I guess, based on the colors from the ref sheet, which you can't see, which is like uh, some purple, some some lighter purples, and like I think a very, very, very light pink. So we get the base, which is like, uh, I guess a more pinker purple, and then the lighter, I don't know, I want to say pale, and then just it just like crisscrosses against. And I, I contemplated it for a while, and just sort of, sort of let it like uh, just swirl around for a bit, and then I also decided to just, uh, just <laughs> I really didn't know about it because it looked good, but I didn't know what it would what it would like look like after everything was finished. So I just did like a, another rough draft of it, and then I <laughs> ended up using the wrong colors. Like in different orders, like I ended up using the base color as one of the stripe, one of the stripes, and <laughs> after that, I just I just basically said fuck it and just got it through. Basically, everything is finished at this point. Now, the last thing that I was going to work on was just, like, a, a very, very simple, just, like, background with, like, a white heart or something like that to, again, fit with the theme that, like, basically, my son is just all hearts. That's that's the point. It's just all hearts. <laughs> so I just, like, I just kept just sticking the theme down, I guess, your throat at this point. <laughs> And I was just messing around with shapes and stuff, and trying to figure out what kind of shape I wanted for the heart. And it was going to be, it, it's, it's going to be very big based on that. But I ended up like uh, deciding not to just like scale up a smaller heart because again, I'm not using uh, anti-aliasing, so it's basically a bunch of pixels growing bigger as I scale it upwards. So it was very complicated to figure out, but once I sort of just didn't go that route and decided to just go with, uh, uh, if it'll pop up real quick, <laughs> um, it, it looked, it looked okay for the time and I tried to stick with it and I started to like, cogs started to turn and stuff and I was like, maybe I should just use this as a base or not. <laughs> Uh, I decided to just, like, sort of, like, imprint an image and get, like, a rough base going, just, like, a bunch of, like, random lines to see what would work. So, yeah.
Okay, now that we've basically got the heart done at this point, uh, I, the last step was just to get like uh, to get an outline on the base figure, or I guess the bust at this point. And I just like usually like what I what I usually do to get like a good image of it is I copy, I put the entire bust into a folder, I copy it as an image basically, and then just sort of scale with it and mess with it. And uh, usually I don't do that because it keeps it with like the within the dimensions of the original image and it does that and that annoys me because then you have to spend the time scaling it and attempting to make it fit around all of the lining evenly and even with just regular transforming and mesh transforming it is a pain so I ended up scrapping that and going on to just like do I guess the the less complicated way of doing it which I'll show you in a couple seconds. When I was already tired with what I was attempting to do, so I redid it, and I decided to do like the, the selection thing that I talked about a couple of seconds ago. So basically, just selecting the blacker shape without like all the colors and stuff, and setting the selection up to 15, so the the the, the line width was like wide enough for the white to show through. So I spent the time on that, adjusting it and kind of tweaking tweaking it to make sure that the the outline was thick enough. And I just went for it. Um, yeah. <laughs> the only caveat to doing the selection layer thing is that it, it also sort of scales the lines as well. So basically any line that goes off and then another line connects to it, if there's a small like two pixel space it basically turns that into a straight line so then you have to spend the, <laughs> the entire time finding all of those especially oh god i swear the the tipped ones are always so annoying because it's square and it it's like really hard to like round back out and it's <laughs> it's such it's such hell to go through but it's in the end it it's really rewarding and because I spent more time on it just to make sure that it looked right.
So yeah, that's basically it. This is really, really fun to do. Um, I, I changed a lot after the recording. So including like the, the outer lining, the, the white lining behind the heart, I just changed it to like a, a lighter pink and I changed the color of my hair because I, I double checked it to make sure that it was that the, the original color. It was not. It's close to between like platinum and like blonde. So I just had to go with an in-between and then I was like, what the hell? I'm just going to go with the earrings because that was on the original one before then. So <laughs> anyways, uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is really fun to do. And I might go to bed. I might not. Whatever. Just if you liked it, just share it with somebody. And yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. See ya.